Hello. Welcome to your Active Panel Basics for New Hires. My name is Zan Roberti, and I'm a Promethean Education Consultant in the Pacific Northwest. I also have a special spot in my heart for the Renton School District. I'm going to get you started here, but I thought I might give you a little tidbit about myself. What's most important, perhaps, is that you know I was also a teacher. I taught for 10 years uh, between grades 6 and 12 in the English classroom. I'm also a writer. I teach yoga and tell stories for the Seattle Underground, and I love to dance and move. But I'm going to tell you my favorite thing to do is to help people have those aha moments. So let's have one here together. So when you first see this panel, um, you're probably going to have some questions. <laughs> For this training itself, I wanted to give you this link so that you can do a deeper dive later. We're just getting into the basics today, as in how do you interact with the panel? There's three main ways that you can do that. The first is by using these Promethean stylus pens. And this is not anything magnetic. It is a, a piece of plastic, really. But it's designed specifically to work with the vellum technology on the panel itself. You can also use your fingertips. There's 20 continuous points of touch. There's a block eraser parked right over on the side of the panel. And then, of course, the panel itself. But before you actually interact with it, you're going to want to know how on earth are you going to turn it on? So on the very bottom, there's the center console. And you're going to push the power button to turn it on. You'll see a couple of bubbles there. You'll probably log in through the owner account. The other thing that you're definitely going to be asking about is how to keep it clean. To keep it clean, you'll use a microfiber cloth and spray the cloth itself with a solution that's half alcohol, half water. You can go up to 90% isopropyl alcohol. And uh, please do not use anything like Clorox, uh, Windex. Those are going to avoid the warranty on the panel. And you definitely want this to last. It will last. You can throw a chair at this thing, but don't. All right, the unified menu is the menu that you're going to use to interact with anything you need. You can pull that up by touching the flame on the very bottom in the center console, or the carrots on the left, the right, or even below. And there's a robust suite of cool things that you can do on this panel, but I do really just want to get you set up with what do you do the very first day. And before you actually use it on the first day, you're going to need to set up your user profile. This is because you'll eventually have your own content saved on the whiteboard, you'll connect to your cloud, you'll bookmark websites, et cetera. Notice you can have a number of different profiles on here. And there's always one relegated to substitute teachers that's called guest. And there's always one that you'll leave for the district itself, which we call owner, or it might be admin on your panel. Now, to set up your user profile, you will log in through the owner and then pull up that unified menu, tap owner gear, and then you'll see the suite of people who are already using that panel. So if your name's not there, you're gonna scroll up and on the bottom you'll see add new user. And you'll add your own name and log out and log back in. So I'm gonna show you, I've already done that on this panel. Notice for mine, it does not say owner, it says Zan. And I even have a photograph that I used as my avatar. So when I touch my name, I'll still get that same menu above the owner, sign out and gear. But when I tap gear, you'll notice something a little different. First on the top is you, and I can change my name at any time. I'm gonna hold down and I can edit it. I like my name, so I'm going to leave it. But notice below, that's the owner, which is the admin or the district. On yours, you'll simply pull upwards. And on the very bottom, you'll see Add New User. And that's where you'll add your account. And you might want to pause the tape right here. The tape, whoa, <laughs> tapes. Uh, you'll go through this process to set up your user account on your panel. OK. The next thing that I want to talk to you about is the whiteboard, which is definitely one of the flagship products that's on this panel itself. It's very inspiring. It's a collaborative workspace that will get all of your students working together. There are things that you can do on this whiteboard that many people walk away thinking are magic. So you'll pull it up from that same unified menu in the very middle on the bottom. You have a blue icon. 
But before I demo it, I do want to point out the three MVPs of the whiteboard. You've got the select tool, which is going to help you shrink, expand, and move your marks. You have the pen tool, which is where you can use your fingertips as pens, and the eraser tool. That's really all you need to know the first time that you use the whiteboard. So I'm actually going to pull it up and give you a little uh, demonstration. Notice when I open up the whiteboard, the item that's selected is the select tool. But if I use the Promethean pen, I can write even when it's on the select tool. So I'm just going to write welcome. Now, if I use my fingertips on the select tool, I can't write, but I can expand and collapse. So now I'm going to change and I'm going to actually select the pen tool. I'll choose one of these colors from over here on the left. Let's choose green and I'm going to write two. And then if I hold down on the pen again, I'm going to change the tip width, which is really nice for uh, differentiating for uh, vision impairment or kids in the back in general. And then below these five original colors, I can choose more fun colors if I want to. So I can P Pro Median. Okay, so pretty easy to write on here, right? Now, if I go back to that select tool and I tap on the whiteboard itself, I push up and I'm panning on this infinite whiteboard space. I'm never gonna run out of room, which I used to every single day. In addition, I can grab something by holding down on that text and shrink and expand one unique thing. So this makes things a lot more engaging. Now, what about if I want to erase? So if I want to erase, I can either select the eraser tool over on the toolbar and just erase it as such. And if you have one of those, oh shoot, I didn't really mean to moments, on the very bottom of the toolbar, there's an undo button. In addition, you can choose the button below eraser, erase all, and undo. The Promethean pen, this is one of the coolest things about it, the very back is actually an eraser, a fine tipped eraser. So I can actually go through here and get detailed with things if I want to. I'm going to undo that again because I did want to show you, in addition, what do you do if when you're on that select tool, you lose your content? Well, on the top right of the screen, there's a little box that ends up being the key. So you can go on and on and on, and you can actually uh, find your materials by using that key. So that's your whiteboard. Imagine the possibilities with this. Now, the other things that you're probably, oh, you got to try it out, right? This is where you can pause in the training and try it out yourself. But I know the things that people really, really want to know are how do I connect it to my Google Slides, to my OneDrive, to things like that. So the panel actually has its own browser on it. You don't need to connect your computer at all. I want to show you this. If I pull up that unified menu, and then I tap on the locker. There's something in here called Chromium. And check it out. I've pulled up a browser right here. I'm at my Hello ID, so I can access anything I want to. In addition, I have the Promethean website, which I have bookmarked right here. So you can access my YouTube page for Renton. There's a Twitter account where I post all kinds of trainings that I and other education consultants do. And I'm just going to minimize that and go back to this. So that's one that's pretty easy and it keeps things separate. If you want to try that, you can go ahead and do it right now. Now, source is the next way. And source is great if you are a person who really likes using document cameras or you want to stay wired to your computer. So to use source, you'll pull up the unified menu and tap this little yellow button. Notice for me, I have HDMI right there. I have only one thing connected and that is actually my document camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select that and you'll see my document camera. So here's my document camera, it's live. I could write whatever I want to. Hello. And then I can come back 
pull up my unified menu, tap source, and go back home. And here I am at my screensaver. Pretty cool, right? Now, what's even neater about this is that I can actually connect to my laptop. So I'm going to show you that also. I'm going to use the same HDMI cord. You can leave both connected the whole time. So if I pull up that flame, I'm going to touch source again. And this time I've connected that same cable to my laptop. And I wanted to show you this connection so you know how we can do wireless casting, wireless mirroring. So on this screen is the screen share app on my Renton laptop. So if you wanna do this in a wireless way, you will be filling this out on the laptop. So here's how you'll do this. To use screen share, this is the wireless screen connecting. You'll touch the screen share button in that unified menu, and then you get a floating window as such. Notice I've named my panel, and this panel ID is just the panel ID that's right there. You can change it at any time by hitting the refresh button on the other side. And just so you're clear, um, I'm gonna go home here so that you know this will float on top of anything that you have open. So I can also go back to uh, my slide deck, and notice here we go. All right, now if I want to, I'm actually gonna go to the correct page. So here's screen share. Now I'm gonna go back to my laptop and I'm gonna uh, tap on screen share, which you can find through the search function on the very bottom, the spotlight. And I'm gonna type that number into screen share. So I'm gonna type in five, three, zero, three, three, five. And then I'm gonna give myself a name. I'm gonna call myself laptop and enable touchback. And I highly recommend you enable touchback because that means that you can control the laptop from the panel itself. And then I'm gonna enter the waiting room. Now notice on this floating window, there's a number one next to the people. And if I tap there, I'm gonna go into the waiting room. You see it says laptop right there. You can have up to 39 students in this waiting room at once. But I'm just going to use it for myself, which is probably what you do most days. I'm going to tap on the checkmark box next to there so you can still choose who casts on your panel, even if your students are sharing. And then I'm going to tap share. And notice there's my laptop. So. I can access anything I want to. I can just pull up the start menu from the panel itself. There's my start menu. I can navigate through PowerPoints. I can share Word documents, anything I would like directly from the panel. And when I wanna end my sharing session on the panel, I will tap on this little icon on the bottom right to go back to the waiting room. And I can either end the session by removing individuals or I can close by tapping the X on the very, bot very bottom. So that's screen share. And if you wanna use screen share, I highly recommend you try this out. This is wonderful if you are a teacher whose desk happens to be on the opposite side of the room from your panel. So give this a whirl. And here's where we wrap up. You today have learned how to set up your user account, how to use the whiteboard, how to connect in the three ways. Those three ways are either using the panel as a standalone device through Chromium, through the browser, or using cables, HDMI cables, to connect to your document camera or to your laptop. And third of all, you've learned how to use screen share to wirelessly connect your laptop to the panel itself. Now there's a lot more cool things that you can do with this panel, and I'm really excited to show you what those are, but have fun, try it out, play, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>